a very happy Tuesday to you all. I'm Kenna. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a pleasure to have you here on the channel as always. And today we are going to play the demo to the Midnight Crimes. This is by Deadly Crow Games. They did the one game, something of the Iowoki. That's the only game of theirs that I recognize. They've got a few, but that's the only one I, I, I recognize. But The Midnight Crimes is a point-and-click detective adventure game, and we will take on the role of a retired detective investigating the case of a missing child while facing his own past demons. Midnight Cove, the wicked Victorian city we live in, features a semi-open world, side quest, pets, yay, pets, character relationships, and much more. So I say without further ado, we give this, this bad boy a shot. I like the, the graphical style. I kind of like this music as well. I will leave a link to this down in the description box below, but let's play the demo. Today's the day. Five years. And yet, feels like it was just yesterday. Five bloody years. There's no use trying to get some kit. I might as well get up and get on with it. Ooh, he's buff. See, leave my bedroom. I should visit my family. Look at photograph. Oh, I was about to say what? Remember my family. Oh, Catherine, my love. I miss you so much, my darling. Oh. My sweet Clara. The day both of you left, the peace of my soul departed as well. Okay, well, apparently we have a stress meter. Smoke a cigarette at your bedroom window. Is that going to calm us down? Are we sleeping? Don't sleep with your shoes on. If our stress decreases, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. We used to say that Midnight Cove was the city that never wakes up. Just another door of shit on the town forgotten by God's touch. Oh, kitty! Now take a look at it. This place has become a blooming dumping ground. Those chimneys, all those clattering engines, always roaring. It's enough to make a man sick. Always roaring. I... Smoking, don't do it. It's bad for you. Oh my god! <laughs> it does decrease our stress. <laughs> yeah, buddy, I'm laughing at you. Oh, look at the kitty cat. It's just out in the rain, so I... Okay, leave my bedroom. I should visit my... Okay, so back to room. <gasps> oh my god. Don't do... <sighs> Alright. Okay, so... I'm afraid to touch anything now. I'm afraid it's gonna make our stress go up. I need to find my... VGP revolver before I leave. Oh, okay. Um, revolver. Should I? Good evening, dear listeners. We are thrilled to have you join okay. us in the episode of the After Hours Talk Show on the airwaves of Cove Town FM. Prepare yourselves for incredible guests to release you. See. I guess. Good evening, everybody. We are so ah. glad to have you here on the show, Maurice. An old 45. Oh, God. Vulcan. Vulcan dome? Gas powered. Mm -hmm. Revolver from the war. A scratch serial number can be seen in the grip, implying it was manufactured by Merrick Company in the British Empire in 1859. Pick it up. Well, thank you for the kind words. Better not leave it. I shall. 
It's true. Okay, that's... I can't turn it off. Okay, should I leave now? We're leaving now. I'm strapped. We're ready to go. <laughs> Alright. Ben's office. Let's see what we can click on. Uh, apparently just Ben's office. Alright, I guess... I guess let's go to our office. Okay, wait. Fresh up your memory about the last case. Okay, so leave my apartment. It's getting late. Explore your dusty office. We don't want to. We don't want to clean. Maybe. Oh, fancy schmancy. Okay, I'm just making sure. Okay. Oh God. Oh, I like this case. The murder of my family. Okay. Suspicious car parked outside. Oh, we can move it. Okay, my family gets abducted. Black goo in abandoned factory. Okay, notes and clues. Okay, suspicious car parked outside. Catherine saw a suspicious car parked outside our house a day before the events, but right when she established, established, direct visual contact with the car, they went away pretty quickly. It is likely they didn't want to be seen there, especially not by her. Okay, that's already on the blackboard. Great. October 27th, 1882. My family got abducted. Carl and I were rushing to the physician. He was driving when a dispatch call said somebody broke into my address. So we went to my old house and everything was torn apart and my family gone. Already on blackboard. Okay. The, bo the missing boy case. We got a lead about the old case of the missing boy who was abducted in the middle of the night from his house. That lead got me and my partner to go check that old abandoned factory where everything got screwed. Black goo. Yes, tell me about the black goo. Nearby the crime scene, there was a thick black goo staining the walls, floor, etc. What could it possibly be? Some tests were done to this substance with no clear results. Show, show back. Oh, okay. Black goo in abandoned factory. This is the key clue that led us to the old factory. More black goo spotted nearby the entrance by some passerby. Was a setup? Did somebody tell them we were going? Was it a setup? When we arrive at the factory, every lock was open as if somebody wanted us to be there to bite that bait and fall right into their trap. Tall, plump Varney knock us out. The language, are we, I, I, whatever. There was a huge bulky Varney watching us after I regained consciousness. He went away for a short while. We were tied to a chair with chains. Carl managed to loose the chain and broke free, but mine was too tight. He went away to call for backup. When the big Varney came, he set me free only to fight me, to break my bones. Who is behind the abductions? Who could possibly be the individual behind the abductions? With what purpose? Those criminal Varney, those criminal Varneys faced in the raid? Some shady dealer, some rich asshole? Could it be Carl that led me to the old factory? Who snitched? Do we have a dirty, do we have dirty constables at the station? Well, I mean, I'd put my money on it. <laughs> Who murdered my family? Who killed my wife and daughter? What do I know so far? After the gruesome display of their bodies at the edge of the city, I can no longer define what type of person could commit such atrocities. I have no clear hunches. I'm completely lost corpse is found in Davy Road. Why that place? Why Davy Road? Is it a special location? Is it connected to their abduction somehow? Davy Road. It's almost outside of the city. I see how much a crime can only be perpetrated where no eyes can see, but of all of the roads out of the town, why this one? The lighthouse clear view of the crime scene. The lighthouse has a really clear view of the area the crime took place. The lighthouse keeper could have seen something only if he was working in the time frame between the abduction and the discovery of the bodies. Lighthouse under repairs. The lighthouse keeper told me there was a crew of people repairing the bulb in the circuits of the lighthouse just the night before we found the bodies. He was instructed to go away quietly. He only talked to one person while the rest of the crew just walked past him behind his eyesight. Repairment people can't be found. After some digging, I wasn't able to locate any of the so-called technicians of the repair crew. The only real person, Jerome Crayman? I think, or Grayman? Graymane? What are we in Skyrim? The one that talked with the lighthouse keeper is not a technician. He is an ex-convicted criminal and apparently left the country. All the rest were fake names. <gasps> Reported theft in Mary Mariuk 
company storages. Oh, that's who made our gun. Three days before the events, there was a report of a robbery in the storages of Merrick uh, Company. Some materials, tools, a big lighthouse bulb, among other things, were reported stolen by the company. Uh, Merrick backs down from the reported theft. Ooh. Nobody gave too much attention to the robbery. Even Merrick himself called off the report, saying that perhaps some hobos stole those trinkets. Or he's being coerced into letting the case go. Does Merrick know something? Oh, thank you. Merrick knows something. I'm sure of it. How come a greedy bastard like him does not mind at all the stealing of goods? How come he is not even worried about the security measure of his own company? He must know something. Witness said the culprit has a big silhouette. Like a Varney, maybe? Hopefully that's not a slur or something. I have no idea what Varney means. <laughs> there was uh, an only witness to the robbery. A storage worker named Redacted, who said to have, that's a really weird name to have, haha, <laughs> who said to have seen a broad bulky silhouette carrying stuff out of the storage unit like they were weightless. Could this, could be the same Varney? Ah, hey, hey, look, we're on the same page here. Broad, bulky silhouette. Could it be the same individual? That seems like the same description I would give the Varney that broke my leg in the old factory raid. Unfortunately, Carl blew his head with a shotgun. Damn, Carl. Right before the bastard tried stomping in my head. Also, Varneys are known to have some weird supernatural strength. Suspicious ice cream truck. Oh, no, not the ice cream truck in Davy Road. A few witness Witnesses reported with concern to have seen an ice cream truck parked in the side of the road for several hours. It seems at the location of the crime scene. Those reports were made a few days earlier from people going out of town or coming back to town in their cars. A lot of reading. Nobody ever saw the driver. Nobody ever saw who was the one driving the ice truck. Was it even a driver at all? Was the truck abandoned there just to disappear soon after? Volky. Volky scoops? Ice cream truck. Uh the ice truck was from the brand Volky Scoops. This brand faced a few lawsuits back in the day when it was still operational. I always wondered how a metal worker such as Merrick was also behind an ice cream brand. Is it connected? The brand went bankrupt soon after. Soon after those reports, the brand went bankrupt. The investors vanished and Merrick never talked about it ever again. All the factories of the brand were abandoned and nowadays they are just wastelands with crumbling structures. My god, how much more? Nobody saw anything unusual besides the truck. Besides the abandoned ice truck, there were no other kind of reports in the area before or after the events. Nobody saw anything. Nobody knew anything. The road kept being just a plain boring road, as it ever was. Suspicious car parked outside. Wait. Ah! Okay. We've run all of them. Nothing else? Okay. So... I really don't know. Eh. Okay. I did I not do it? I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, there's really nothing else to explore. Oh, well, maybe maybe there is. Wait. Let's see. Anything. Okay, so I I don't can we just go? Okay. I'm gonna leave office. The prompt went away, okay. Uh it's a ooh, look at you. Look at this. <gasps> look at our refrigerator! Yeah, I think this has probably got like a steampunk vibe to it, which I love steampunk. I love cyberpunk aesthetic more. I'm just a big fan of neon lights, but yeah, I, I really do enjoy a good steampunk aesthetic. Ben's apartment keys, a common middle class apartment key. Iron coated and brass, mediocre design, but functional. I guess let's pick it up, baby. Um, that, just having a propane tank, that seems very, let's go. So where to go? To the graveyard, my family's waiting for me, to the rusty crow pub, I need a drink first. Um, oh boy. Okay. I feel like if we go to the graveyard, it's possible it might up our stress meter, but then we can de-stress by getting a drink. So let's go. Let's go to the graveyard. It's getting quite late. I should be on my way. I know they're waiting for me. Yeah. Okay. Oh! <gasps> 
A stray cat. You better pet that thing. Hey, oh. what's going on, little fella? Oh. Where do you come from? Are you hungry? Um, I'm afraid I don't have any food to give you right now. Gonna have to make that. You right. damn right you are. At least you're taking that into consideration, buddy. Thank you. Okay, I I like this like Dutch angle. There. <gasps> Is that a lady of the night? Oh my god. Okay, I don't know which way. Find food for the stray cat. Can, should I? Okay, I can't go back in my apartment. Madam? Hey, stud. Well, well, well. If it isn't Benjamin Layton himself. What have we been up to, handsome? Emily? Uh, are you all right? Where the bloody hell have you been is a far better question, don't you think? Yeah, you know, it's just, I really had to take care of some things. But anyway, back and everything is fine and dandy now. Mmm, if you say so. If you say so. The folks around here were oh. quite worried, you know. All right, it, it doesn't matter. I just... I'm glad you're fine, so you'll be staying put. And by the way, what are you doing here at such hours in this bloody weather? You know it's dangerous. Hush. Believe me, I'm quite aware of the dangers of the night. But a woman with my talents knows well how to handle herself with ease. Well, I was just... Passing by to let you know that a little birdie told me someone's been looking for you at the Rusty Crow. And I thought, you know, how about a little crime solving adventure? Like the good old days. So, what do you say, Ben? Uh. Uh. Oh, uh, I mean, I was gonna go to the freaking. church. Okay, so we can do no thanks. I have things to do. Hmm, why not? An extra quid won't hurt. Are you mocking me? I'm done with that. Well, I mean, if I'm going to earn money, maybe I can get money to buy food for the cat. I, sure. <sighs> Pray tell. Do you know who that might be? You are aware I left that line of work a while ago, right? Not what happened to my family. I just lost my spirits. But I do enjoy drinking them. <laughs> <sighs> Still... If it's a straightforward affair, one that can be solved without too much trouble, then perhaps I shall consider it. A bit of extra quiz never hurt anyone. Splendid! A bit of excitement from the new case shall lift your spirits for sure. I know it. Even if it's just a trifling one. You crank the old chap. Aye. Maybe you are correct. Well, let us be on our way then, shall we? On our way, indeed. Ben changed his mind and decided to come here to put his family can wait. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, is that. Oh my god, I can't believe I gotta leave the cat. Let's go, Emily. So, Ben. It's good to see you again. How's life been treating you? You seem to be on the mend, I hope. Mm, I suppose you're right. I've certainly had my share of ups and downs. <laughs> More downs, though. That's just how life goes, isn't it? I'm just more relaxed, taking it one day at a time, love. Oh, so, how about you? How's your mother doing? Last time we spoke, you mentioned her illness. I see. Well, she passed two months after I arrived. The physicians couldn't put a finger on what was wrong with her. It was quite bizarre, to be honest. And, yeah. I could say I'm doing just fine, mate. Oh, my sincere condolences, lover. I know deep down in a way she cared for you. A parent always cares, even if they stray away from the path at times. Thanks, Ben. But anyway, I ain't too sure she had much of a path in life at all. She did some good deeds for me, sure. She even left me her old apartment oh, in the Blue oh. Commons. But you know, Ben, mostly what comes to mind is just awful memories. It's 
Rather nice to hear that she left you our old place. God, let's not be too harsh about her. We all made mistakes. Okay. Uh, my Ben. There's no excuse. The way that woman took advantage of me, you know? Taught me my trade. Made me do things that no child should ever be forced to do. And then profited off of it. What kind of sick mother does that? Huh? What kind of mother teaches her daughter how to please men's filthiest desires, being just a child? Huh? It's bloody disgusting. It is. I agree. So, no, then. That's a mistake I would never forgive. Whatever. Now she is oh. gone. And I cannot say I shed a single tear for her death. In fact, I'd say I was glad to die the way she did. Painfully. Coughing her lungs out. Where are you? Choking in her own putrid blood. Anyway. Why'd my stress go up? brighter days would be ahead. Let's just move on and forget about that sick old lady. Shall we? Sure. Why'd my stress go up? Emily, you want to walk a little bit faster, hon? That's interesting. I guess I'm going the right way. Ooh. Oh god. Thank you. Emily, my dear, I know, uh, and I beg your pardon if my words cause such distress to you, bringing up those awful memories. My intentions were well-meaning, you know that. All right, let's not dwell on it any ah! further. I Pray tell, do you have any other notes about who was inquiring about me at the Rusty Crow? What should we expect when we get there? Thanks, Ben. Well, my source, Lloyd... Vaguely told me about it. So it goes like this. Just arrived in the city, an hour ago or so, and I went for a pint and, and we had a bit of a chat. And then he briefly let slip that someone was shouting and asking for you, specifically for you. Didn't say much about it though. So, naturally, he asked me if I had any clear what was going on with you. I hadn't seen you for a while and yeah, that's pretty much all I know. Hmm. Weird. Well, what he said is true. I haven't seen him in a while. You see, some days have been so dreadful for me to go out that I realize it's better for the Scots to come to me rather than the other way around. So I paid a young lad to bring me the bottles. Am I going the right way? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear Lord. Should be up here. Oh, unbelievable. Drunk and lazy. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's embarrassing. I am quite curious, though. With such a desperate demeanor, it could be a delicate matter. Ooh. Perhaps it's just a typical missing dog or cat case? <laughs> <laughs> well, the plot thickens. <laughs> <laughs> you could be such a buffoon at times. Well... 
We shall see what the matter is about once we arrive at the pub and start working our craft. Instead of just gossiping about it like some pompous push ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, my dear Emily. Indeed. He kind of reminds me of. Uh, is it Billy Butcher or whatever on uh, The Boys? Okay. It's down. Okay, it's going to be around this corner, it looks like. I know how to read maps. Uh -huh. There we go. My god. Lord have mercy. That was an adventure all of its own. Psst. up. There's a cat lady over there. <laughs> oh. Okay, so talk to Lloyd about the situation. Okay. Are you Lloyd? What's up, Lloyd? Uh Oi! Lloyd, how have you been? Hey, sir, quickly. Hey, long time, Lloyd. I guess let's go with the try and true. Oi! Oi, Lloyd. <laughs> How have you been, sir? Business doing well? Long time no see. Ah, Mr. Layton. Quite a long time indeed, sir. Yes, everything is fine and dandy. What can I offer you this lovely evening? Uh, a scotch? No, I'm good, but thanks. A pint will do. You know what? Give me a scotch, buddy. Just a scotch? Neat. Nothing fancy. We have matters to attend to. Matters to attend to. I see. The usual, then. And for the missus? Oh. Hey, Emily. What's your poison? Oh, just a pint for me. Thank you. You are the lady. Get to it, Lloyd. Splendid. A pint and a scotch coming right up. Oh, do I have them? I guess I have them. Oh. No, I don't. He's going to deliver them. Okay. <laughs> this better decrease my stress. I don't know how I got stressed. Why does everybody look like they're smoking kryptonite? Oh, so, Mr. Knight. Assumed that the lady already informed you about the poor lad that was desperately inquiring about your whereabouts. Indeed, Lloyd. Um, so it was a man. So, was in great distress. Hmm, let's go with was in great distress. Hmm, so this mysterious man was in great distress. What could it possibly be? Noted. All right, Lloyd. Let's get to the point. Pray tell me who's been inquiring after me, what the bloody elder chap wanted from me, and why he was in such utter distress. And where is he? Tell me everything you know so far. Well, Mr. Layton, uh, I must say I don't rightly know what this fuss is all about. Just that this poor chap was roaming the streets in great distress, asking people for help and mentioning your fine name, sir. At some point, he came into the pub and asked for you. I was in a bit of a shock. Two constables were lounging at a nearby table, yet they didn't seem to bat an eye. I'm afraid it all felt a bit queer. Enough. I don't want to hear about it. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to get back to business. My apologies, but I won't take the case. Let's see. Um. You know what? Let's do it. Perhaps it's time to get back to business. I can't say I'm quite keen on this case. The way you tell the events, there's something about it. And those constables. Hmm. Something obscure is going on. I guess it's about time for me to get back into business. I'm not thrilled about it, you see. First, let's proceed with caution. Ben cautiously accepted the case, Lloyd. We'll remember this. Now, Lloyd, pray try to remember. Is there anything else you can recall? Any other detail that could be useful? Hmm. Oh, 
Well, Mr. Layton, you see, there was a peculiar thing I did notice. So, after this poor soul left, just a few minutes later, the two constables went out the door in the same direction this man went. They were very silent. They just left the quids for the drinks on the table and quietly left the pub. Isn't that being odd? Uh, it's shady, I must admit. And I'm afraid these sorts of situations don't ever turn out well. Mm, fair enough. Let's not linger on it any longer until we got the facts. I think I need some sleep for a change. So I must take my leave. Oh. Did you not drink? Emily? Is your old place in fine condition to spend the night in? I mean, for you. <laughs> oh, no. That place is a mess and in great need of attention. But don't you worry about it, handsome. Oi, Lloyd. Do you have any spare room upstairs for me to use just for tonight? Of course, me lady. And don't you worry about the cost. The weather has been quite awful the whole evening and seen as though you're just arriving. So please, be my guest and get comfortable. Hey, Lloyd. Take this card. If you see that man again, give it to him. There's my contact number and my address. Of course, Mr. Layton. I will. Keep me posted if you hear something new, will you, love? But of course. You know I will, big guy. Mm. Get out of the rest of the crew. Always make friends with the prostitutes, people. That's what I'm taking from this. Okay, can I like... Oh no, I just have to leave. Okay, uh... How do I... I'm trying to get out. Where's the damn door? I Listen, game, I'm trying... I, can I go upstairs? I can't go upstairs. There we go. Wow. Okay. Can I talk to anybody else? No. Did I even... I didn't even... I... Well, I say I paid for scotch. I don't think I saw money exchange hands, so... Let's see. Go to St. Michael's Church. Or not. Okay. Let's see. Well, we didn't talk to Emily more, so that's fine. So we can't... Maybe we can clear that objective later. So now we need to go to the churchyard. Let's see. So if I take a right, go straight. Or, okay. Okay, it looks like maybe we need to go this way. Because there's like an opening here. I don't know if I can get through it there. Maybe I can. Okay, let's try that. Oh boy. Kenna tries to navigate. Um. Excuse me. Good evening, detective. Madam. Mmm. Sus. Okay. Should I? Can I go down there? What are you doing? Follow that bird! I'm totally not following you. Where are you going? What are you doing? Look at the sachet. I'm totally taking a detour, but Emily made a point to point her out. <laughs> in the pub and now I'm curious. Let's see, let's see where she goes. Yeah, I really like the way the environment looks. Very nice. I'm totally tailing you. Can I not go any further? <gasps> I'm gonna get hit! 
Oh. Oh wait, did I just make my way to the graveyard? I'm sorry. <laughs> In following her, did I get here? Oh, I did. Oh, did you see that though? I was still walking uh, in the game and it was showing me moving on the map. Okay, well, you know what? Following you was a good idea, so... Oh, wait. No. Shoot. Come here. Okay. Thank you, madam. Your suspicious self led me to where I need to go. Oh. Look totally buff. All right, let's Benjamin. Let's go. Let's go stress ourselves out more. Uh, find family grave. Oh wait, shoot! Damn it! Oh my God, somebody take this mouse away from me. Can I? Okay, family grave, huh? Is that? can't tell. Ah, churchyard. Okay. Is this what I wanted? Oh, that kind of sticks out. Why did you do that? That's what my dog does. Or it could be that. Okay. Oh. Uh, is this anything? Okay. I guess, are we in another section, maybe? I don't know. <gasps> I should probably go around the hill. Go around the hill, okay. He did it again! Yeah, my dog will just... There could be a wide open space for her to pass through, but no, she she just takes the most narrow passage. She's so weird. She's a weirdo. Dude, where the hell did we put our family? <laughs> Ye man. Uh, maybe I can climb up and keep going. I would need to find another way back later, though. Okay. Climb up the gate. Man, dude, bro. We can do it. Good lord. We have our family out in the boonies. Um, hun? Where the hell did I put you guys? <laughs> um. Oh! Right here at the top. Okay, well, thank God. Maybe this will de-stress us. Hey, it's been uh, too long, I'm afraid. You know how hard it is for me to stand here. I miss you dearly every day that goes by. Oh, God. Clara. Catherine, my love. Let's see. I wish I could set this right. I'm tired. I want peace. I'll make them pay for what they did. Um. Oh, boy. Let's go whole hog. I'll make them pay for what they did. Those bastards. What they did to you. Is unspeakable. Carl and I, we we misjudged how wicked and depraved they could be, and how deep we were ensnared in the mouth. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn it! Here, to both of you, I promise they will pay. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but they will pay. 
Oh, look at that little floaty thing back here. What are they called? Zeppelin. Find a way back home. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. See if I can get out this way. Because it, it kind of made it sound like I wouldn't be able to get out the way I came. I Can we go down here? Let's go down here. Let's go, Benjamin. Uh, <gasps> what's going on here? Yeah, what's going on here? I mean, they're grave diggers. They're digging a grave, so I don't know what you. Ugh. Hey, you. <gasps> what the bloody hell are you Or the grave for hoppers. Uh, Ugh. Uh, that's not a your business, pal. Keep walking. I got a gun. It is now. Stop this right now. See, uh, it is my business now. Oh, but it is now. It's my bloody business when two creeps like you come to desecrate the holy ground of the graveyard, stealing people's bodies. Get your bloody asses out of here. Yeah. Oh, well, well. And who are you to question me? These bodies are ours now. You're not gonna stop us. You just can't, little man. I'm sorry. Do you see how short you are? Who's ca mm. I'll throw you out myself. Let's not let's not mince words with I'm losing my patience. That's just prolonging it. I'll throw you out myself. Oh bloody hell! I'll throw you out myself, you worm. Oh shit! God bless it! I'm just choosing all the wrong things. <laughs> The one who's gonna cover us all look. <laughs> oh, but you won't be here to witness such a grim spectacle. You know what? I have a gun. They're already digging a hole, and nobody will know. Oh, you disgusting creep. Stop ya, yakking! <gasps> Oh. Oh. What do we have here? A fresh meal. Ew. No. <laughs> oh, God. Uh oh. Shoot him. Stop this yeah. Right now. Oh, God. This is hard to. Con God, I'm trying to get a headshot. Did he just uh, shit? Ow! Me. Oh, for crying out loud! This is a very weird combat system. Oh God, I can't back up. I'm gonna die. Stop it! Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay. What happened, little man? Is that all you got? <gasps> no! Ew! Oh. Dude. Oh. Oh, but I'm not dead. Am I missing a chunk out of my body, though? Oh. Oh. I'm too old for this shit. Are you kidding me right now? 
Ew. Ow. Yoga, dude. Yoga. Get your gun. Pick it up. Of course pick it up. Oh, great. Now I must pay Victor a visit to have this trinket repaired. Trinket. Um, can I pick up their hat? That's a nice little bit of continuity. I shot his head off, hat off and... Oh, no. It's just okay. Where the hell was I even going? I'm trying to get out of here, but... The gate is locked. How am I supposed to get out now? God bless it. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to... Hmm. It looked like there was another path. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Let's go down this way. I like the music. The voice acting is pretty good. And just with this demo alone, it seems like there's going to be a lot of stuff for you to do in it. Um, again, why are you going this way? There's a whole... Mm -hmm. And this UI is very unintrusive. I like that. Oh, wait. No. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what's down this way. Ah! Oh my god. Look at that. I'm so... I'm so smart sometimes. Not not all the time, but sometimes. Okay, so... Oh god, now I gotta find Victor. <laughs> what's that his name? Go to Victor's workshop to repair your gun. Oh god, okay. Maybe we need to go somewhere and repair our face. Our face looks pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, I think for the steampunk setting and everything, I think the kind of cell shading graphical style works really well. I mean, and you know, maybe I'm a little nostalgic for Borderlands, which is the first time I ever saw that kind of graphical style. Okay, so repair. Oh, oh, okay. That's easy enough. So should I just go straight or should I turn and go this? I think we're going to have to go this way and go down an alleyway. Okay, so... We're, we're going to go... This way, I think? His right? Oh, wow, we just got a nice little pep in our step. Oh, hurry, hurry! Lord have mercy. Okay, I think... Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Oh my god. She can be taught. Okay, and I think we're going to go down this. It looks like there's an alleyway down here. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's right there. Wait, stop. Oh, that's not... Is that not available? Do we have to go on the back? Okay, I think we'll probably have to go this way anyway. I still need to find cat food. Um, aha! Hello. It's like my main, main concern. Gotta you feed home? the cat. Hello, Victor. Anybody? Just had my ass handed to me. Seems Victor's not home, or perhaps he's just asleep. I better come back tomorrow. Find a way back home. Okay. Um, is there not like, is there a store or somewhere I can? Okay, that's my house. Church. Those are really the only things I can see on the map. So if I go back out the way I came. I need to find a way. What's back this way though? Just out of curiosity. Is there anything? Ooh. Looks like we're in the slums. Anybody have any cat food? Whoa! Oh, it stopped! Thanks, dude. I'm gonna get my ass lost. Oh, there's the rusty crow. Hmm. I wanna get the cat food. Grew my stress levels and everything else. I want to feed the cat. Can I not open up any of these? Really? Just biohazard canisters on the ground? I could have gone. Okay, wait. Sorry. Okay. 
There's a much shorter way to go. I think. Yeah, I can cut through here and go that way, yeah? Okay. So... <sighs> it's the Riddler here. Ooh, let's sound that way. Probably nothing. Oh, that'll lead me up to the pub. Okay, so keep going straight. Oh wait, is that something? Wait, go back. Can I get, can I? Is that like cat food? <gasps> it's cat food! I found the cat food! A small size bag of Volcat. Cat food. Oh my god, you damn right pick it up. Oh, Yay! Best game ever! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh god, not another fight. I can't. <gasps> Keep making noises, I swear I will snap your neck. Sir, th there's someone behind the dumpster in over there. Who's that? A little beta cuck. Show yourself, you Please scoundrel. Help me. I don't want any trouble. I'm just packing. What's going on here? Stop. Oh, God. Let's be a big, damn, stupid hero. Hey! What the bloody hell is going on here? What are you doing to this man? Jacob? Is that Jacob? Mind your own business, scoundrel. Be gone before I give you the same lesson. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Let's have a gander, shall we? Two police constables late at night threatening a poor fella in a dark alley. Do you have any idea how that looks? What would Chief Fletcher make of such a sight? I could haul your sorry asses to the station this instant, so better get out of here now. <sighs> Come on, you useless bastard. Let's get going. <laughs> right, sir. Yeah. Mark my words. Oh, shut up. Uh. What's up, buddy? Hey, sir. Are you alright? Shall I get you a cab to the hospital? What's your name? Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. There is no need for that. My name is Jacob Smithers. I'm searching for a private detective. Well, what do you know, Jacob? Today is your lucky day. Well, sir, my name's Benjamin Layton. I'm a private detective. I mean, I used to be. I believe oh, you were so this inquiring is the guy. about yeah, yeah, yeah. my whereabouts in the pub Got earlier it. today. Bray, may we discuss this matter further? I gotta go feed the cat! Oh, good, good, goodness gracious. Yes, sir. I'm in desperate need of your help. My dear son has gone m m missing. The c constables have been of no help, and they even threatened me to stay silent. Please, good sir, I'll do anything to find my dear m m m Martin. Can you help me, p p please? I can't take this case. Get away from me. Well, damn, I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you. What? Well, I'm not going to act like he's a leper or something. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you. Oh, both these choices suck. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to be of assistance to your dreadful situation, my good sir. Pray, find someone else to help you in this matter. As it exceeds my current abilities. And I find myself lacking the necessary clarity of mind to address such a case. Oh, is it because of my stress? I bid you a good night, sir. And take my leave. Oh no, G -g good sir, please come back. I beg of you, please help me, help me find my son. He is not j just gone m missing. He was taken away, and my house is in ru ruins. There is a horrible <gasps> stench and black goo everywhere. I beg of you, don't, don't go away. Help me. Black. You said the magic words, Jacob. Pray, sir, correct me if I'm wrong. 
Have you, in fact, just said that you found a black, thick substance within your premises? <laughs> Indeed, sir. Th that's what I said. My house is absolutely wrecked. Please, sir, help me. I need to find my boy, please. See, collect yourself, I'll help you. You need to be calm, then I shall assist you. Okay, collect yourself, I'll help you. Keep quiet. Collect yourself. I will help you. But we need to approach this matter cool-headed, with precision. You cannot be a mess, otherwise you won't be of any help to the case. I shall find your son. Rest assured. <laughs> Thank you so much, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You look like you have jaundice, dude. Martin is my whole world. I need to fight him. I understand, sir. We will find your son, but first, I shall go to my abode. Set up the essential elements for the investigation while you return to your dwelling and bring me a picture of your son. Also, I shall need you for a brief inquiry. Here's my card. Come see me at the break of dawn. Oh, all right, sir. I shall return to my place now. First, the light at dawn, then. I'll bring a picture of my boy. And again, thank you so much. Good, sir. Cool. Okay. I think we kind of want to turn. Nah. All, all right, Jacob. C -c -c Collect yourself. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so I think we want to turn around. I'm sure Martin is fine. Uh, yeah. Oh shoot. Do we want to go this way? Can I go that way? Am I going the right way? I'm probably going the wrong way. See, look, I'm moving. That's so cool! Kitty! Okay, so... I think we're through there, right? Yeah! Right through here where we met our good old prostitute friend, Emily. Oh my god. We're gonna be such a good Samaritan. Uh-oh. <gasps> no, not before I feed the cat. Oh, the cat's gone. Ah! Who are you? What do you want? Show your face. <laughs> detective, detective. Stop your efforts before you hurt yourself or your loved ones. If you still have any of those left, Ooh. is this going to be my only warning? It's lost. Shred. Oh, my stress went up. You know it would decrease my stress? Feeding the damn cat. Is that going to be the end of the demo? I went through all that hard work to get the damn cat food. <laughs> Oh, it is! I really enjoyed that. That was fantastic. I am gonna go wishlist this. I, like I said, um, the voice acting was really great. It was really well done. Um, I, again, I am somebody who does kind of like that graphical style. Some people are over it, um, but you know, I, I still think it's cool looking. <laughs> um, and it does seem like we're gonna have a lot to do. Uh, just by like the objectives up in the top left hand corner. The inventory was really simple uh, Nothing crazy pants hard about you know using it the UI nothing was was overcrowding the screen um, I like the idea that this is gonna be kind of a semi-open world 
Um, there will be side quests, so not only are we going to be focusing on, I would assume, finding Martin, because that was specifically stated in the, uh, the description of the game, as finding the lost kid, the son, Martin. Um, so yes, side quests. I, I, we're going to have a stress system, we're going to have uh, points going towards char other character interactions, NPC interactions. So yeah, I think this has got a huge amount of potential. Um, the music I liked. So yeah, I think this this is something I'm going to be looking forward to. There's another point and click game that I'm looking forward to. Um, I think it's called Foolish Mortals. I played the demo on my channel. Um, so I'll be excited to see that one come out too. But yeah, I'll leave a link to this down in the description box below for everybody. Thank you for watching. It is most appreciated. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!